new year of block deals. Now from the block deal story to the commodity space and Brent crude trades at levels of around $83 a barrel following the OPEC plus output decision and also the EU price cap on Russian oil. Lots happening on that front. Manisha Gupta is right here to fill us in with how all of this is impacting the crude oil prices. Tell us, Manisha. Well, thank you so much for that. After a 3% decline last night in case of crude oil prices, we are back into some positive cues coming in right now. And absolutely, yes, in last one week, we have seen the OPEC and Allies meeting where the output has been kept steady to an E7 uh, price cap at $60 per barrel coming in on Russia. And then the European Union, which also has curbed imports from Russia. All seaborne oil imports from Russia have been curbed as of now. And come, come 5th of Feb, uh, European Union will also curb all, all crude products from Russia as well. So this still is a developing story. Markets are looking at uh, what the expectation right now is from some form of Russian retaliation coming in. Russia has spoken about that, but we still have to see a notification or uh, some communique coming in from Russia. Until then, it is going to be very jittery crude oil markets from here on. Having said that, it also is about the macro situation where you have seen some strength come back in case of the dollar index. And all the data that came in from U.S. last couple of sessions has been positive. So whether it is the U.S. jobs numbers, factory activity and services number are better than street estimate. And that perhaps bring in, brings back the flavor that U.S. Fed could be more aggressive going forward on the 14th December meeting rather than a 50 basis point meet. There could be some guidance decisions that could weigh on onto the markets going forward. So as I said, quite jittery. And every week we have seen a 10 to 12 dollars per barrel of a crude prices range, which is much higher than what you have seen in last uh, couple of decades itself. Markets do believe that 75 dollars per barrel is going to be a strong support going forward. On the higher side, 95 is going to be a resistance. And within this 20 dollars is what you could be looking at the crude oil prices closing this year as well. All right, Manisha, thanks a lot for getting us a complete roundup on what's going on with crude oil prices. But let's also bring you some opinion on how crude could head going forward. This is from S&P Global's Dan Yergin, as well as Goldman Sachs's Jeffrey Curry.